hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be explaining to you guys why i spent four million coins around four million coins on fodder who i bought i'm going to explain to you guys why i bought them show you their graphs and kind of just talk to you about how much i'm hoping to profit off this um and when i'm probably going to sell them but let's get into this video if you guys are new to the channel we are a couple subscribers away from 1.5 so if you're new and you enjoy trading you enjoy this video make sure to subscribe go check out my other videos on this channel it will literally help you guys make coins um i have around four mil i've lost coins um we've done player picks so i mean i don't know just go check out the other videos hope you guys do enjoy hopefully you make coins um twitch as well will maybe be in the description i need to get a scheduled streaming time um but Without further ado get all the plugs out all right now we're getting into the video so as you can see i'm unassigned let's just hop straight into it. i have 7,000 coins i'm unassigned on a ton of players and i didn't go crazy i didn't buy like every single spc fodder player and there's a reason to that right i picked them wisely and i want to go over to footpin really quickly to show you guys why so Let's start it off with Benzema. Okay, why did I buy him? And the thing is, he's 19K. If we go look at his graph, okay? We go look at his graph. When's the last time he's been 19K? When When's the last time? The last time he's been 19K was October 7th, okay? October 7th, that is literally like 20 days ago. And last week, he was 28,000 coins. So what this tells me is number one, over time, he's gonna go up, all right? He's, fodder goes up over time. That's just the thing you guys need to know, right? He was 19K, that is already very, very cheap. And that's at the start of the year. And I'll show you guys why 19K is cheap for this, right? He went up to 28K last week and he went down to 19K. And if we go look, I got all of these Benzimas at 19, 18, um literally like just around there right i i'm gonna be honest i would pay 20 21 22k for this guy okay 19k for this card is very very good in my opinion and i have more more of him um if we go look on the transfer list he's gonna be here okay we have casimiro's as well got for it 19 19 5 um 19 19 19 5 so I invested in Benzema, okay? Let's go check out Casemiro, all right? And the reason I invested in these higher tier players is because they're not up yet. And the reason they're not up is because there's no SPCs up, you know what I mean? Last week, we got an SPC. These guys skyrocketed, all right? They went to... Tw I guarantee you, you could have got sales of like 33, 32K. Now he's back down. The last time he was 19K was October 16th and... Actually, not, no, that's 19k on PS. The last time he was 19k was October 7th. So, if you guys are noticing a trend here, okay? He started at 16, and he's just going up. And that is literally every... Okay, I wasn't even showing you, the, you guys the screen. But, that's literally... That's literally it, right? 16k, he started at 16k. He's just slowly rising, slowly rising. And then we get an SPC, he goes up a lot. And now he's back down because everyone's panicking. We got a ton of supply this weekend. I mean, to me, this is no risk. I'm guaranteed coins and I'm guaranteed a lot of coins. Okay. And not just I'm guaranteed coins. I am guaranteed a ton of coins. Okay. Right. How much do we get this guy for? 19.5. 19. We got him around the same price as Benzema. Um, they're both 89 rated. Both very, very good next let's take suarez for an example okay let's see suarez how much is suarez he is thirteen thousand coins that is crazy when the last time he was 13k october 7th i think we are noticing a little bit of a trend here okay we are noticing a trend on the graphs starts out low gradually starts to rise and the reason he's rising isn't because spcs are coming out the reason he's rising is because people are investing in him and 
people are club stalking him they they'll buy one put him in their clubs which i highly suggest you guys do if you haven't but guys like if we take a look at Saturday, he was selling for 15k on Saturday. Yesterday, he was 13. So you could have bought him yesterday, today, but today fodder is really low, and I think one of the reasons for that is because if we go look at SPCs, we got a team of the week SPC, and people thought fodder was going to rise, but why would fodder rise for an 83 rated squad? Why would an 88, 86, 87 rise for an 83 rated squad? It wouldn't. The only things that are going to rise are 83s, and they didn't even rise that much. So, this is what you guys need to know. People are panicking their fodder. And as you guys are watching this video right now, go and buy these players. Go unassigned. I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest profit you will ever make in FIFA. Okay? Suarez at 13, Casemiro at 19, Benzema at 19. If we go look, I bought my Suarez for like 13 to 14K. Um, Cruz is a very very good one okay if we go look let's see how much he was he's 13k wow he was 21k last week i guarantee you could have got sales at like 23 24 25 but let's see okay when is the last time cruise has been this low oh would you look at that would you look at that that's kind of weird that's kind of weird. He's been going up. There's some sort of pattern here that you guys need to know. Okay. Let's see. How much are we buy him for? 14, 14, 14. 14K for this card is insane. He'll be over 20K soon. Okay. Got Suarez at 13. Next card. Let's go. All right. It's too easy, guys. And I am literally 4 million coins deep. 4 mil. 9k this is cheaper than i bought him for i bought him for like 10k 11k this is insane okay look at this the last time he was 9k october 7th october 8th october 9th he got up to 17,000 coins I, I don't know what to tell you guys okay we see it right here we see it he goes up he got up to 17k when the sbc came out I, I don't really know what to tell you guys. This is literally free profit. If we go, I bought a ton of him. Um, I bought a ton of Di Maria's at 10, 11K. It, it, it's just so cheap. And I want to explain to you guys why I picked these out of all of them. All right, we go back to Footbin, 9K. As you can see, he's 16. So why did i pick these players over any 87 rated cards all right let's go look the reason i picked these players is because they went up in the past all right i did buy varatis as well varatis 9.7 he went up to 16. so it's kind of just the same thing um, last time he was 9.7 october 7th october 8th october 9th blah 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 same thing free profit okay we move why didn't i buy aguero let's see Let's see his graph, okay? Like, look at this, right? Aguero, he did shoot up to 16K, okay? He's at 9.8, so I could have bought him. All right, that's a player that I would say go for. Um, but a player like Modric, I, I know there's some players that didn't go up and there's some that did, but I'm just telling you guys right now, this is very, very good. Like, this guy only went up to 15K, okay? The players that you see only go up a little bit. You want to kind of just stay away from him. Trent, he went up to 16K, but he's 13K. Do you see where I'm going with this? Um, Loris, let's go check him out, okay? I guarantee you he, yeah, 19K, he did very well. This is a card that you guys should go invest in. But he's 13K as well. So you're kind of losing out on 4K. If you're buying Muller at 9.8K, and he's rising to 20k you're missing out on that 10 to 14k right there you're missing out on that all right you're only making like 6k a card which is still insane but you could be making 10k or you could be doubling your coins um let's go look at 88 for an example okay let's look at 88 let's look at holland he is 14k on xbox 14k on ps why didn't i buy this the reason i didn't buy this is because he never shot up okay he's just been on a decline this entire year now he's fodder 
um also i mean 88 for 14k is good don't get me wrong okay but i'm saying like he never shot up and the difference between that graph and this graph is completely different because he shoots up here and he gets to 21,000 coins this card is very very good in my opinion all right a suarez let's go look at him right he shoots up as well to 20k so what you guys can take from this is the cards that just decline like lukaku all right he was 20k but he he didn't shoot up to 20k that was his price and now his price is 14 if that makes sense to you guys hopefully it does um because you don't see him going up you just see him going down 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 and you don't want to see that okay let's take a ramos for an example he's 15k he shot up yeah a little bit but he's 15,000 coins you can get suarez and cruz for 13k on snipes and the reason i like all these guys literally all of these guys suarez cruz holland navas lukaku ramos those are very good okay i would say go buy them but if you're heavily investing in players invest in a cruz invest in a navas invest in a suarez okay but you guys should be buying all of these if you're investing in fodder because let's see the it's 14k what's the second what's the next cheapest the next cheapest gold is 30k and the next cheapest after that's 43 so that just tells me number one these guys are undervalued no spcs come out yet and this is what i really like with the 89s this is what i love with the 89s okay casimiro benzema 19k courtois 21 and then ederson's 27 what does that tell you these three are undervalued okay they will go up with svcs 90s as well this is where it really gets interesting because you have two or you have three you have three right so you have tier stegen and kane and neuer what does that tell you right tier stegen and kane is 23k neuer's 30 wins where's the next the next is content 400 okay so you guys need to know how many card ratings there are right if we go look at 91s let's see 91 an o block at 32 the next cheapest 91 rated card is 90k so o block is very good and if we go look he shot up to 41k that's 10k a card so i'm just showing you guys this and we can go back here i'll show you guys who i'm who, who i bought i bought jordi albas for like seven 8k which is insane um if we go look at his graph he didn't shoot up that much but it's just like like look at this right he shot up to 12k that's that's still a lot you know what i mean that's still basically double if we're gonna sell him at 14 15 that's double so i bought jordi albas um those are just players i had and then in my unassigned i kind of just have a lot of the same players right we have your Benzema's, your Casemiro's, Suarez, Cruz, Di Maria's that we got. 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 9. It's, it's insane, right? We have Muller's. We got 11, 10, 9. So this is just pretty much free profit. I have more varieties. They're just not showing right now. Then I have Jordi Alba's. Um, but I really went around like 3.5 to 4 million coins deep. Hopefully, this is a bit of a longer video, but hopefully it helps you out. Hopefully... You guys know what fodder to invest in because you you got to be smarter than just to buy fodder you know what i mean you have to look at the graphs process it think about your return on investment okay if you're buying a jordi alba at 6k and he's selling at 12 is that better than buying a player worth 30k and he's selling at 40 you know what i mean so you guys need to be smart about that because take into consideration tax and how much you're paying per card you could buy six jordi albas and spend if they're 6k you could buy six and spend thirty-six thousand coins or you could buy one o block at 32k right 32k you sell let's say you sell at 30 let's say you sell at 42 so you're making 10k on that but your albas you're buying for six and selling at 10 or 12 even all right that's 4k a card and you bought six of them that's 20k all right but then with the o black you're only making 10k so 
I want to let you guys know that, that is my thought process on fodder. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you kind of like this video, um, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Plug the Twitch, Discord, Twitter, all of my socials will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.